hi all welcome back to my youtube channel so as promised in the previous video this video is that if you want to start your career in rpa then what are few initial steps and the agenda that we're going to cover in this video would be what is rpa where is rpa used rpa job trends role present in rpa domain what career to choose or what profile to choose while you're switching your career in rpa and how to start learning rpa so to start with what is rpa robotics process automation Robot is anything that mimics human action. Process is a sequence of steps or operation and automation is when those sequence or steps of operations are being performed without human intervention. Now, where is RPA used? Every industry, say BPO, healthcare, logistics, etc., they have set of operations that are being performed repetitively and on a daily basis. The advantage that RPA brings along is that you don't have to play around with the underlying existing infrastructure rather rpa would be like a cherry on the top leveraging the already existing infrastructure that you are using and automates it eliminates the human intervention thereby increasing the efficiency decreasing the amount of error that you get and obviously increasing the speed of the process now when it comes to that from which phase you want to enter into rpa from a fresh college grad or you're already working in some other domain and you want to switch to RPA domain or add it as an extra skill. If you are a fresh grad who wants to kickstart his career in RPA, then you may be wondering about the use cases or scenarios where RPA can be utilized. Believe me, the number is huge. According to a survey by McKinsey, as many as 45% of the activities individuals are paid to perform can be automated by adapting currently demonstrated technology. In the United States, these activities represent about 2 trillion in annual wages. It's a myth that we often think that automation primarily affects low-scale, low-wage roles. In the survey, it was discovered that even the highest paid occupations in the economy, such as financial managers, physicians, and senior executives, including CEOs, have a significant amount of activity that can be automated. To give you a few examples, there could be a lot of Excel manipulation or data entry that is being done on a ba daily basis in almost all organizations. Reading the invoices, processing it, categorizing the mail, supply chain management, processing the loan checks, etc. So the area of automation and scope of automation is vast and so is the demand of RPA. Coming to next very important question that comes in every mind, what are the job trends and how much we will get paid? According to the KPMG report, Rise of the Humans, currently, humans perform 71% of the total task and the rest of 29% are executed by robots. However, the forecast is that until 2025, the distribution of tasks will tend to average out, with 58% of the tasks handled by humans and 42% by machines, which means that the job in RPA area will increase exponentially in the coming years. Also, according to a report by McKinsey, those of you who don't know, McKinsey is a very reputed consultancy firm. And according to a report by McKinsey, there would be 140 million RPA jobs in 2025. It doesn't mean that RPA will kill job. Instead, RPA will create many more jobs like RPA developer, business analyst, solution architect, citizen developer, project managers, process designers, etc. And the pay of these jobs would definitely be higher because it's a skilled job that now they'll be doing. For salary trends, I would rather choose not to quote any exact range because as per my experience, salary totally depends on experience, skill set, country and domain. But you can definitely check Glassdoor or Upgrad.com for an average salary in each domain or in each role you're thinking to choose. Coming to what it requires to be an RPA developer and I am just not talking about the developer role, any role that you want to switch when you're switching your career to RPA, from tester to RPA, or from a programming background, you're switching to a programming background. So what audit requires, or what all are the prerequisites that you must hold if you're switching your career to RPA. So let's talk on that. The three things which I can say based on my experience, which is required for any IT job, is problem solving, analytical skills, and basic programming knowledge. Though if I talk about programming knowledge, as we all know, RP is a low-code platform, so even if you do not have a programming knowledge, you can be a citizen developer or you can learn some basic programming knowledge on the fly. 
Basic programming knowledge would help you build more complex automation. It doesn't demand you to know any specific programming language. Say it's not necessary for you to know Python or it's not necessary for you to know VB.NET or C Sharp only if you're switching to RPA. If I talk about basic programming knowledge, so the underlying basic of all the programming language is almost the same. It's the syntax that varies. So if you know any of the programming language, it would suffice. For example, if you know VB.NET or C Sharp, that would help you write complex link queue queries or perform data table operations. If you know Python, you can utilize UiPath's AI Center to ease your task and not only automate rule-based tasks, but also do intelligent automation. Knowledge of SQL, C Sharp would add more value. Knowledge of basic concepts like exception handling, data table operation would help you understand the concepts quickly. Now let's discuss the roles and responsibilities offered in RPA domain. First being RPA developer or junior RPA developer. The responsibilities being assessing the process, developing it using the best method possible, following all the best practices, testing, etc. The second being business analyst, a profile which is more on a functional side rather than the technical side, includes analyzing the process, feasibility study, return on investment, that is calculating the ROI, deciding the in scope and out scope of a project, timelines, cost of the process, designing process flow and diagrams, etc. Then comes solution architect or project manager, which according to me is the highest paid job in RPA domain. Roles and responsibilities being assessing the architecture of the process, managing the team to see the deliverables are of high quality and the project is in sync across teams. There are other roles as well like tester, RP support, infrastructure engineer, etc. You can pick one according to your interest. Now coming to the most important topic that is the learning path, how to start learning RPA. UiPath is community edition free for users who want to learn. There are full-fledged sessions and courses designed for each product and the tool. And the best part is it is accessible to everyone and is free to use. All you have to do is register to uipathacademy.com. There are also sessions happening in every zone. You can learn new features, updates, best techniques from the industry experts. And for that, you can register to uipathcommunityevents.com. Now, if you're a fresher or experienced, you would require a certificate to validate your knowledge. Each course you complete on Academy, you can also get a certificate. My recommendation would be to start from UiPath Foundation Training on Academy. It would teach you the basics of UiPath as well as programming concepts. And if the foundation is strong, the superstructure would be strong. Then you can proceed with level two and level three on Academy and slowly and gradually you can attain mastery over it, completing each course that is linked to your roles and that is linked to your responsibilities. You can also do an orchestrator related course to have a complete picture of studio and robot. You'll find a problem statement related to concepts while completing any course. Don't just download the sample. I would suggest you to first try it on your own. And if you're stuck somewhere, then you can download the sample to validate and to match whether you're doing it right or not. And if you're not doing it right, then what is the part that you're missing? Make use of UI demo application to learn and implement RE framework. You can utilize rpachallenge.com to brush your knowledge and practice on dynamic selectors, invoice processing, data scraping and web scraping. There are a lot of YouTube channels posting RPA use case sample. Try them on your own. For the channel for solution only when you're not able to do it on your own. Many YouTube channels also have content around difficult and typical thing that is difficult to implement. You can refer them and you can get an idea on how to implement it. And they even showcase a lot of use cases which are unique and difficult to implement. That could be good to learn and you can even add them in your resume as a project. Post any query you have related to any product, no matter small or big issue, and you'll get your answer. If you really want to learn, put in a little effort and time in it, and you will master it. Slowly as you keep progressing, you can complete courses for other products like document understanding, SAP automation, invoice processing, UiPath Action Center, UiPath Apps, Data Services. Now that the product count is huge, you can choose any of two three products of your interest and attain mastery over it and that would be enough because each product is really capable of doing wonders in different domains now once you prepared there are also two levels of certifications that uipath provide you can enroll for it there are two tracks basically you can choose one or the other accordingly the first being the general track it's for anyone who works with uipath platform. and requires strong foundational technical skills and knowledge 
The second being the RP developer track. It's for anyone in a technical role looking to gain deeper level expertise in designing and developing complex RPA solutions using robotics enterprise framework, that is RE framework. You can take mock tests to check your preparation and for more details on the certification exam and the pricing, please visit uipath.com under learning category. So start learning RPA and get certified. A pro tip would be if you are into any other domain and you want to switch into RPA, you must be aware that RPA is a fast growing booming industry and the sooner you get into this industry and the sooner you get into this domain, the greater the benefit you can achieve from it. I hope you guys find this video useful and it helped resolve many of your queries you had on how to start your career in RPA or from where to start if you have to start your career in RPA. So I just hope that it motivates you to start learning RPA, to complete one of the trainings and slowly and gradually attain mastery and receive your certification. So all the best if you're going to start your journey in RPA domain. I'll keep sharing as much as I could. Till then stay tuned and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.